Peter D. I. Schiff, The Little Book of Bull Moves in Bear Markets, How to Keep Your Portfolio Up When the Market is Down. In his book, The Little Book of Bull Moves in Bear Markets, Peter D. Schiff offers an in-depth analysis of the declining U.S. economy and the consequences of this on a global scale. Schiff illustrates how America has moved from an economic powerhouse in the 1950s to the world's biggest debtor, with an unsustainable trade deficit. The book delves into the subprime crisis, consumer credit meltdown, and airline industry struggles as a few of the many symptoms of America's economic woes. Schiff also discusses government strategies and their impact, such as economic stimulus packages and the inflationary pressures they create. In the face of these challenges, the book provides keen insights and actionable investment strategies to help readers protect their portfolios and thrive during these uncertain times. America's Economic Doomsday The American economy is in shambles, and the country is facing a crisis of epic proportions. The government's inability to manage debt, fuel, and food prices, along with a reliance on printing more money have ruined the economic growth of the nation. The manufacturing and trade sectors have crumbled, while the increasing debt has made America the world's biggest debtor. The government's economic stimulus packages have only created inflation, making it a bad place to invest in. The plummeting housing market, airline industry, and consumer credit meltdown only amplify America's economic woes. The solution is to invest in a money market fund denominated in a non-dollar currency or foreign stocks, or even selling American bonds. The current scenario is similar to the stagflation period of the 1970s, uniting runaway inflation and economic stagnation. It's high time to act prudently and take charge of our investments. Investing in Times of Inflation Inflation poses a significant threat to U.S. investors, and the government downplays its severity. To gauge the real impact of inflation, one should monitor gold pricing instead of relying on government statistics. Investing in non-dollar money market funds or foreign equity portfolios is recommended. The expansion of the money supply by American authorities and the accumulation of dollars by foreign interests also contribute to inflation. By unloading bonds and tips while rates are low and prices high, investors can protect themselves. However, the Federal Reserve has a difficult dilemma of balancing economic stimulation and inflation control. Additionally, productivity and unemployment statistics are misleading due to the use of hedonics and exclusion of long-term unemployed individuals. The Deceptive World of Investments The world of investments is filled with deception and conflicts of interest. The term Wall Street encompasses all traditional fiduciary institutions, including brokerages, mutual fund companies, investment banks, and hedge funds. Investment banks have a serious conflict of interest since they underwrite stocks for corporate clients while providing advisory services to investors. This conflict of interest can lead to fraud where they sell stocks that don't deserve to be purchased. Mutual funds are no better, as active fund managers take inappropriate risks to outperform other managers, often at the expense of long-term investors. Hedge funds are secretive, and their managers get paid well even when investors lose money. Investors should also be skeptical of industry statistics as they are often compiled by the very same companies in that industry, who have an incentive to paint a rosy picture. The book warns readers not to take everything they hear about investing at face value, but to be skeptical and do their own research. Investing in Commodities Protect your portfolio against inflation by investing in commodities, which tend to move inversely to the stock and bond markets. As building capacity to produce more commodities takes a long time, a rise in demand for commodities with India and China on the rise will lead to a short supply, resulting in increased prices. The demand for commodities presents a bull market and six strategies for making money in commodities are discussed in the book, three for skilled investors and three for regular investors. Skilled investors can make decisions in a non-discretionary or discretionary individual account or through a commodity pool, while regular investors can consider funds, futures, or options. Investors need to be cautious, however, as commodities involve high risk, 
so it's essential to understand the market, to own a diverse portfolio and to have a clear exit strategy. The ability to capitalize on low commodity prices can present opportunities by investing in resource companies that will benefit from higher prices in the future. Investing in Commodities Learn the different ways to invest in commodities, including index funds, commodity firms, and country stocks. Discover the various ways to invest in commodities. Commodity index funds offer low-risk and affordable options that mirror the returns of commodities indexes. Alternatively, buying stocks in commodity firms or companies with significant exposure to the commodities industry could be another way to invest in this market. Lastly, you can invest in commodities by buying stocks in countries rich in commodities. This offshore option allows you to purchase stocks on foreign stock exchanges. Start exploring the world of commodity investments and diversify your portfolio. Investing in gold, silver, and foreign stocks. The book describes how gold and silver are becoming attractive commodities due to their value, dividends, and industrial uses. Additionally, foreign stocks and emerging markets are suggested as potential investment options, especially for conservative and dividend-paying foreign stocks that provide inflation protection. The book outlines ways to invest in these assets such as buying bullion, using the Perth Mint, purchasing ETFs or exchange-traded notes, trading futures contracts, or buying stock in production companies. It also warns against using pink sheets brokerage firms and recommends investing in countries including Australia, Canada, Norway, Hong Kong, Switzerland, and the Netherlands across sectors such as agriculture, energy, forestry, mining, water, infrastructure, property, transportation, manufacturing, and utilities. Overall, the book encourages readers to invest directly in foreign exchanges and reduce credit card debt to prepare for the coming economic downturn. Brace yourself, the future of America. Conditions in America will worsen, and leaving the country may be your best bet for survival. With almost every industry collapsing and urban areas becoming more dangerous, you need to prepare for the worst. If leaving the country isn't an option, start saving in non-dollar currencies and get out of debt. Products with long shelf lives could be worth two or three times their current price in the future, so hoard what you can and learn to fix things instead of buying new. Eventually, America will recover and provide job opportunities in engineering, construction, agriculture, and other fields. Trade school and learning foreign languages may be a wise choice for college and trade school students seeking employment. Although the U.S. economy is on shaky ground, there is hope for the future if we are patient and take the right steps. Ultimately, the little book of bull moves in bear markets warns that America's economic situation may worsen to a full-fledged depression, and that one must take bold steps to protect their investments. Schiff advises readers to invest in foreign stocks, commodities such as gold and silver, and emerging markets to safeguard their assets. Furthermore, he suggests paying off debts, learning new skills, and even considering relocation to countries with faster-growing economies. In a world where trusting the government and the Federal Reserve is increasingly difficult, readers must learn to adapt and strategically invest to secure their financial future. The book serves as an essential guide to those who seek not only to survive but also to thrive in the face of an economic downturn.